Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm Renee Simmerauer. Let's start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Las Vegas police solve a decades-old cold case again. They say 16-year-old Kim Bryant was kidnapped, raped, and murdered in 1979. DNA evidence was recovered from her body back then, but the case went cold. Recently, scientists at a Texas lab helped detectives solve the case. Police say the killer was Johnny Black Peterson, who died in 1993. We continue to work diligently on all cold case homicides in an effort to provide closure and resolution, not just to the victim's families, but the entire Las Vegas community as a whole. Philanthropist Justin Wu donated money to help Metro conduct DNA testing to solve cold cases. In more news, a busy stretch of Charleston Boulevard will soon see slower speeds. The Las Vegas City Council voted to lower the speed limit on a more than half mile stretch of Charleston Boulevard between Rancho Drive and Martin Luther King Boulevard, bringing it down from 45 miles per hour to 35. It is in the middle of the Las Vegas Medical District. Nevada Department of Transportation data shows that over a five year period, there were nearly 300 crashes, resulting in hundreds of injuries and one fatality. And singer Trey Songs is tied to a Las Vegas sexual assault allegation on the Las Vegas Strip. His real name is Tremaine Neverson, and police say he was cooperating with the investigation, and no arrests have been made. The alleged assault reportedly occurred at a hotel in the 3700 block of South Las Vegas Boulevard, though it is unclear when it happened. The singer performed at Dre's nightclub on Saturday. Also, Henderson is getting a new fire station in partnership with a master planned community. Cadence Fire Station 87 will be about 11,000 square feet with training facilities and accommodations for up to 10 firefighters. It is set to open in 2022. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, here's some advice for anyone wanting a Christmas tree. Shop early. The American Christmas Tree Association says supply chain and ground shipping issues have hit both artificial and natural tree retailers as well as nurseries. Well, over the last few years, obviously, with the fires and different things that have been you know, going on on the West Coast, uh, the trees are definitely short short this year compared to availability in the past you know 10 years ago the growers and different things didn't grow enough of them experts say droughts and wildfires in the pacific northwest are also having an impact now it's time to take a look at your local weather forecast sponsored by one hour air no matter the season no matter the reason one hour air is here for you your tuesday forecast is showing sunny skies with a high of near 78 degrees today light winds coming from the northeast tonight evening lows will be in the upper 40s for the rest of the week the beautiful weather continues but we'll see a cool down starting again 72 degrees by thursday light winds will remain throughout the week evening lows staying in the upper 40s in your health news, sponsored by Forum Dental Love Your Smile Again, Nevada officials are working to detect the Omicron variant of the coronavirus. The director of the Nevada State Public Health Lab says its genetic blueprint concerns him more than any previous blueprint, but there is very little information so far about actual infections. There isn't the data to really know what this variant will do. Also, despite this concerning genetic blueprint, it's unknown how each of the individual mutations will act in concert with one another. The Southern Nevada Health District continues to urge people to get vaccinated and wear masks indoors. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. After breaking their three-game losing streak with a win in Dallas on Thanksgiving, Raiders interim head coach Rich Pisaccia reminded the team to not let the win cause them to lose sight of their upcoming games. The, the loss, that we, we, we didn't get so down that we couldn't go out there and keep preparing. We couldn't go out there and have um, really good, crisp um, physical practices. And now that we've won, you know, we just have to be careful. What I told them was, I think when you win a game, you have to be careful with the win masking your problems. When you lose a game, you pick at every single thing that happens in the loss. When you win a game, sometimes the tendency maybe is to skim over the things that you didn't do well and kind of just move on to what's next. So I think we have to do a good job as coaches is to look at the things that we really didn't do well, although we won the game, just like we would if we, if we lost it. 
Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoky and Cigar Shop. The Raiders are consensus two and a half point favorites over the Washington football team in Sunday's game at Allegiant Stadium. The total is 49 and a half. The Silver and Black improved to six and five with their 36 to 33 overtime upset of the Cowboys on Thanksgiving. They're three to one underdogs at Boyd Gaming to make the playoffs, 14 to one long shots to win the AFC West and 85 to one to win the Super Bowl. In your lifestyle news, sponsored by Glittering Lights at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, public art has made a small comeback in the streets of Las Vegas, as you can see along Maryland Parkway. Review Journal's James Schaefer has this story down to a fine art. Renee, the Maryland Parkway Fence Art Project was dedicated Tuesday as part of the future bus rapid transit route, this being part of the countywide project. Though the fence art on Maryland Parkway is up, it is only temporary according to the county, but it is up to help promote three local artists. Clark County Commissioner Tick Seeger Bloom had more to say about it at the ceremony. The, the focus was on Maryland Parkway, on transportation, on Las Vegas, of course, and then on movement. Seeger Bloom also said that the dedication allows them to honor the artists as they honor the city. But the spirals, the lines, and the colors are just the beginning as the nearly nine-mile route will include additions on bus stops, walkways, bike lanes, and yes, more public art. Renee? In your entertainment news, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada, take a musical journey through the holiday season. The show This Is Christmas opens Thursday at the Palazzo Theater at the Venetian. Guests will enjoy timeless classics and original songs, including Christmas in Las Vegas. Tickets are available now at Ticketmaster.com. The show runs until the day after Christmas. The Review Journal is owned by the family of Dr. Miriam Adelson, majority shareholder of Las Vegas Sands, who operates the Venetian. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. And if you're watching 7 at 7 on YouTube, don't forget to give us a like and hit that subscribe button down below. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.